Hi angels, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is gonna be all about brushes. You guys ask so many questions about my brushes. What are my favorites? What am I using? What's going on? It can be a little bit overwhelming because it's like, where do you start? I will help you guys out with that. So keep watching. We're starting off with the eyes. So you will see that I have a ton of MAC brushes. I know they're expensive. Some of my and like NARS, some of them may be a little bit on the expensive side and I will offer alternatives in here if I have any, but it's just because they last so long. So it's almost like you just need to buy it once and you can have it forever if you take good care of it. So we're starting off with like an all over eyeshadow brush to set. I always set my eyes with this brush. This is the Sigma E40. This is an affordable brush. So it's nice and fluffy and it's really great. So I set my eyes with that. I wipe away my bake with this. Like it's one of those multifunctional brushes. I, this is a concealer brush. So this is the NARS brush in number 10. So with this, you can actually blend your concealer out. I prefer using a beauty blender. I like to use this to blend out my eyeshadow base actually. So I can't live without this one. I use it every single day. Brush. This one is the Morphe M441. So this is the Morphe M441. Again, this is such a great brush. You can apply some, if you wanna focus your highlighter, you can use this one. You could go ahead and use a fluffy transition shade with this one, multi-purpose, love this. This one is a cult favorite. I can't even see the number on it, but I already know it is the MAC 217 brush. So I use this for a number of different things. And that's what I love. Like all of these brushes, they're gonna be multi-purpose. And that's why, again, I can justify the prices of some of them. I use it to go ahead and set my nose contour. I use it in the eyes, in the crease, at the bottom. Like it's one of those brushes that you could do everything with. So I love, love, love this one. I also have another brush here. This is a MAC 239 brush. I love this to pack on eyeshadow on the lid. If you want an alternative that's a little bit more dense, so it's not gonna be the exact same, but a good alternative is the Morphe 167. So I'll hold them side by side. The MAC has softer bristles for sure, and it's a little bit less dense, but they can, they basically are used for the same thing that I like using them for, is just packing on a color on the lid. This one, because it's more dense, the Morphe one, I like to actually pack on glitter with this one sometimes. It's just, again, multifunctional. Then if you wanna deepen your eyeshadow shade, this is the MAC 221. I love this one because it's nice and it's nice and thin. So the, a tapered kind of brush is perfect for kind of getting in there and getting in with that deep shade. Love this one. And okay, so the MAC 231 brush, this is what I use for that inner corner sharp point. Um, this also could be used as a lip brush. I think it might have been a lip brush at first for me, but then I moved it to do this and I can't stop using it for the inner corner. Like I am obsessed with this. For my eyeliner, my signature wing, you guys know that that's my signature thing. And I use every single day, I use the Bobbi Brown eye definer brush. And this, this tip, this angle, is all that you need for your wing. Like it is so easy to use if you're a beginner, you will love this. I've been using it for years. Uh, fun fact guys, I used to actually work at Bobbi Brown many, many, many years ago in the beginning of my makeup career and that's when I discovered this brush. So ever since then I've been using this brush. Like I've repurchased it when I was a makeup artist and I had a kit. I needed one for my kit and one for myself. Anyway, gotta have this one. Like literally, this one literally would die without it, okay? What I like is that the bristles are, they're not soft, they're dense and they're wiry. And that's what helps you carve that wing out so perfectly. Then for the under eye, we have the MAC 228 brush and you'll see that this has little, little bristles. I love this for shading the under eye. I've seen other artists use it for the inner corner highlight. Love little brushes so that you can work in with those little details. We have the NARS 22 brush. So this is another really great blending brush. You can blend in the crease. You can blend literally everywhere. So another alternative for one of those fluffy brushes. Okay, so I can't not mention this one. This concealer brush by MAC, this I think is the MAC 195. This I use for everything. This is like my Frank's Red Hot. I put that shit on everything. So I put on my concealer with this, then I blend it with a beauty blender. I carve out my wing liner again with this. Sometimes when I'm using a beauty blender to put on my foundation, I'll put lay it down with this. I'll carve out my br under brow with this. Like this 
might just be one of the most versatile brushes that I own. Obsessed, another one that I literally can't live without. So this next one, I don't know if it's worth mentioning because it is discontinued and a lot of the brushes that I use are discontinued. So I've brought in different alternatives like and not the discontinued ones so that you can have options. But this is the MAC Oval 3 brush. It looks like a toothbrush, but I use it to blend out my nose contour. I use it to blend out my lip contour. It is everything and more. So they also have like dupes for this one could be the RT's brushes. I'll show a couple pictures here of different dupes that you could get that might be similar to this one, but I love this. I don't know why they discontinued it. Mac, bring it back. We need it. So now we're moving on to face brushes. I think it's important to mention Whenever in my videos you see me using a brush with a golden handle, these were from the Makeup by Mario X Sephora collab. So this is what I was talking about, how I use discontinued brushes, and you guys are like, what is that? And I'm like, it's discontinued. So it sucks, but these brushes are amazing. I'm gonna show you guys some alternatives. I have the MAC 287 brush. I think that's the right number. I use this for laying down my contour. It is amazing. You could also use this to put on concealer. Again, another multi-purpose brush. So if you're looking for a more dense brush to apply your foundation with, this is a great option. This is the MAC 170 brush. It's a little bit angled. So sometimes I actually, so you can buff in the product here and like press it into the skin. This is such a perfect brush. And then we have another similar brush, but I like to use this for contour. So this is the NARS, does it have a name? I don't know what the name of this one is but I got it with my NARS contour. And I think this one is really amazing. Like it fits right into the contours of the face, but then again, so does this one. So these two are very similar, very soft, very luxurious. This one is just like, looks just a little bit nicer, but these ones just, this one goes with all of my brushes anyway. I like to have two different ones though, because if I'm putting on my foundation with this one, then I'm gonna be blending my contour with this one. I don't like when the colors get mixed together or if I'm blending out my blush with this one, cause I also blend out cream blushes or um, liquid blushes with this one as well. Another one that I have been loving and using in almost all of my liquid blush video, the Huda Beauty Face Cheek Color Brush. You, I used it today. It was freshly washed for you guys, but then I used it today because of course I couldn't resist. Huda Beauty makes really nice brushes. Here's another one. They're so pretty. Like I love the packaging. I love the handles. They're also substantial. This face and skin perfector brush as well is really nice for foundation. It's nice and big. So you could just be like done. But yeah, so these two are great. Then for blush, powder blush, I have the MAC 113 brush. This is really nice because it goes right on the apples and you can drag it up and it just perfectly goes. Another one that I love for highlighter because it's a little bit smaller is the Morphe M510. So this one is nice and fluffy, but I like when you can actually just go directly in to a particular area with your highlight versus like a big fluffy brush for highlight. So I'm here for this one. And Huda Beauty has this face all over powder brush. I really like this one for when I want to blend everything together with powder. Um, so if I'm setting and I want to just make sure everything's blended, I like using this brush. This would add an all over glow to the skin if it matches your skin tone. It can be very bronzy though at the same time. So you could take this and just to add the life back into your face. That's a little pro tip because sometimes it gets a little bit too matte and fake looking and nobody wants that. So if you want to add the life back in, that would be a great option. And there you have it guys, that concludes today's video. I hope that was helpful for you guys. I know it was a lot to take in. I do also just wanna mention that when I first started makeup, I didn't spend this much money on my brushes. Everything happened one by one by one. I would save up a little bit more money, go and spend all of it on the makeup. <laughs> save up some more money, go and spend it all. Like I am a true makeup addict, so I don't expect anyone to be on my level. And it was, it's literally my profession as well. So it makes sense that in my makeup kit, I wanted to have really great brushes to use on my clients. Um, but the MAC, the MAC and the NARS and anything in there, the Bobbi Brown, anything in there that you saw that was a little bit more expensive, they're great quality. They are worth the money. But when I first started out, I got brushes from, literally my dad bought me these brushes from Costco. <clears throat> And I still have some of the brushes and I use them today. And it was like a whole kit from Costco, okay? So that's where it was like humble beginnings. Like it was just the most random brush kit, but I used it. 
And then next, when I bought my first um, item for myself, it was the e.l.f. brush kit and it came in like a little zipper pouch and I got it at Winners. Uh, if you guys have Winners in your country here, we have Winners. It's kind of like a Marshalls vibe. So I'll show you a picture right here of that e.l.f. kit that I had, if I can find it. Um, it was really amazing and it lasted a very long time, but then eventually certain heads of the brushes started coming off. So I had to glue them back together, but Hey, they still worked and they got the job done. What I'm saying is I know it's intimidating and I know it seems like a lot, but you have to start somewhere and you can slowly build up your brush collection. It's not done in just one day. Guys, remember I post every single Sunday. So go ahead and like comment and subscribe. Let me know what you guys want to see next. I'm gonna link some other makeup videos here that you guys can check out and I will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching.